Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday, June 21st, 2025 is the date, 2.46 a, uh, p.m., excuse me, local time, West Coast time here in California. Uh, latest activity shows a 6.1 earthquake coming into the area off the coast of Japan. This is along the southern end of the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. Got a lot of movement happening here in the last couple days. We look here on the map, a pretty good swarm of activity here north of where the six-pointer struck. Uh, it looks like there's been a couple other earthquakes here in the last 24 hours where the 6.1 just struck. Uh, we had a 5.9 here a couple days ago. Looks like this area may be getting ready to produce somewhat of a larger quake. Now that is just north of the region that produced that 9.1 earthquake back in 2011. Let me show you guys here real quick, bring up the satellite view. And that nine-pointer, of course, striking along the Japan Trench here. That's a major subduction zone. Uh, and of course, this subduction zone up here where we're seeing that six-pointer can easily produce an earthquake in excess of 8.5 up to a nine-magnitude uh, earthquake. Um, further up along the line, along the Kuril Kamchatka in 1952, they had a nine-pointer. Um, so this area where the six-pointer is currently uh, occurring it looks like it's right off the north coast here of Japan, which would put it um, roughly right here in this area. 7.7-1973, uh, There's a 8.2-1969, 8.3-1970, 8.4-1970, notice, notice the trend here. No large earthquake activity here recently uh, so we may be talking about some foreshock activity currently happening around this area of the Kuril Kamchatka Trench uh, it could be anywhere from probably about the center portion here southward I don't think we've got enough steam built up here for another large event there across the Japan Trench um, you know considering that 9.1 there just uh, back in 2011, but uh, firmly this area up north here along this segment is fairly well primed uh, for some large earthquake activity, well above what we're seeing right now. So watch that closely. Uh, the seismograph station did come in there across the Philippines, picking up that earthquake. And uh, the Japan station there is currently offline, so I'll have to reset that one. But uh, we are seeing a, a decent uptick here. Uh, 6.1 here at southern end of the Kuril Kamchatka. A lot of big earthquake activity out here historically. And uh, it's one of those locations that does not take hundreds and thousands of years to build up strain. Uh, we could easily see enough strain that's been building up out here across the Kuril Kamchatka for an earthquake in excess of 8.0. Uh, the slip rate on average is 83 mm per year. That's quite high. I'm sure a, a little bit larger south here along the Japan Trench and the southern end of the Kuril Kamchatka. So just be on guard. A lot of... Uh, a lot of swarming out here right now so we'll keep an eye on this throughout the day just getting ready to do the member drawing here in, in about an hour or so we'll get that done this afternoon uh, in the meantime folks stay safe there will be no associated tsunami with this earthquake too small of a magnitude but it is in a subduction zone so once we're up above seven uh, to seven point five or so we can definitely see tsunamis being produced out here across that major subduction zone so watch that closely folks of course if anything else does pop up uh, we'll provide an update stay safe